Hi everyone, it is about 5.30 now, just logged off from work. Brian just got home and we're gonna go on a little walk. What? Looks so small. You think she's like? Let's get unready for the day. I need music for motivation right now. It's the only thing that's getting me through tonight. I am so tired. journaling so much more lately i'm really proud of myself like this journal is actually almost full that's all we got left Draw it down towards your heel, draw a couple circles here with the knee. That yoga actually felt really, really nice. It felt more like a meditation because it was so slow, but I definitely got a good stretch in. And it's already 9.40. It's actually kind of late. I've honestly been getting into bed a little bit earlier than this lately, but this is just how the night is going. Um, yes, I wear this every single night. Um, I've actually found that wearing like a silk cap really helps with my acne and it keeps my hair shiny so it's like a win-win situation. But anyways, I'm gonna read my book for a while. idea he told me he made me say it anyways it's Sunday morning and I'm extending this video because the footage was not enough and I need I wanted the video to be longer for you guys so I'm gonna take you through a reset Sunday in my life and we have some interesting things planned today 
Well, actually, one interesting thing, we're gonna go to a sensory deprivation tank later at like 4 or 45. You sit in a tank of salt water and there's like you close a hatch basically and you're inside and you're in complete darkness for an hour and 30 minutes. And Brian and I both don't know how to feel about it, but we're excited to try something new. And we're gonna make French toast this morning. So let's make some of that. It is a little bit later. I just cleaned up all of the dishes and the kitchen from yesterday. It took me so long. There was so many things to clean. It's a, it's actually such a beautiful day and I kind of like for some reason had a little bit of a rough morning, but I've been listening to like mindfulness videos and I just like feel a lot better now. And I got dressed to go to the gym. Um, so I think I'm gonna head to the gym now. It's like 11, or no, it's like 12.30 right now, but I'm gonna make myself a little snack first and I'll try my best to film at the gym. It's going to be a leg day for me. And last time I did leg day, I went way too hard after not working out for a while. So I'm gonna try to take it a little bit easier and maybe mix in like some cardio and see where that takes me. This is like one of my favorite snacks lately. It's just peanut butter and cinnamon. All right, guys, let's head to the gym. Um, sorry for that glare. I have been kind of off my gym game lately, but I'm trying to get back on it and I'm trying to get my life back together. And the gym really, really helps with like my anxiety. And sometimes I'm like, oh, why am I so anxious and bothered by these tiny little things? And I ask myself, have you eaten today? Have you gone for a walk? Have you worked out? Have you been in the sun? It's like, no, 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 no. And I wonder why I'm feeling like this, but I'm trying to take tangible steps to feel better. Yay. Wow, I had a really good short workout. Um, I was really only in there for like 30 minutes, but honestly, I don't wanna exhaust myself as I'm like getting back into the groove of going to the gym, but I feel so much better and it was just worth the 30 minutes, not even 10 minute drive both ways and 
yeah, I just feel better now. So it's like, what time is it? It's like 1.30 now. I think I got here around one. So yeah, about 30 minutes of working out. I did five minutes on the Stairmaster and sometimes I can go like 10, 15 minutes on that. Even if I haven't done it for a long time, breathing so heavily after five minutes, I had to get off. I'm like, you know what? You don't need to push yourself to the extreme. I definitely got a sweat on um, and I feel good. So let's go home. Just made it home from my workout. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then make a smoothie. So I just had my smoothie, I did a little bit of work and I am leaving for the sensory deprivation tank here pretty soon. Um, I didn't do my skincare or anything after my shower. You're not supposed to wear like any lotions or even like deodorant, like you're not supposed to wear anything into the tank. And I think you shower beforehand, but I just am kind of playing it safe. So I have my swimsuit on underneath my shirt and I'm excited. Um, I'm kind of nervous. It's, I, I don't know if I said it's an hour and a half, so that's kind of a long time, but I'm gonna do a little bit of editing for this video um, while I wait to leave. Um, I think we're leaving in like 45 minutes, so just the right amount of time to get some editing done. That was a really interesting experience. Um, I had no idea like if time was passing or not when I was in there and it was completely dark and I was floating the whole time. I don't know if I would do it again. It kind of messed up my hair too because it's really salty in there. But an hour and a half floating, I kept thinking that it was like only 30 minutes had passed and then I heard the music, which is supposed to like wake you up and tell you that like your time is up. And I was, I literally was like in there and I audibly said like, really, it's been an hour and a half. And at first I was pretty antsy. I definitely chilled out like halfway through and I almost felt like I was kind of sleeping. Like I wanted to sleep really, really bad. And I closed my eyes and like tried to sleep for a while. Anyways, it was, it was pretty good overall. Good, interesting experience. I, I'd give it like a seven out of 10, maybe a six and a half. Don't know if I would do it again, but I, I feel really relaxed, so I'm not mad about it. Wait, the moon looks crazy. The camera does not do it justice at all, but that looks awesome. Three, two, one. Arguing. 